the sudden blotting okay so sudden blotting the name was given after sudden he is the inventor of this dna blotting or sudden blotting technique which was introduced in the year 1975 okay so in this technique for the hybridization dna were transferred from organism to this sudden blotting machine okay so like a replica plating method like electrophoresis method here also we are going to use agarose as a medium solid medium okay so agarose was first loaded on the nitrocellulose paper so nitrocellulose is a thin paper over that we are going to apply a agarose gel so agarose actually derived form of a algal species the dried powdered algal species we are using as a agarose gel which give us solid consistency so the powder if it is mixed with water na so first initially it will be a it will uh, it will like a, a semi solid one and after exposure of air it will become a solid a very solid one like a rice uh, stock okay va and uh, this agarose play coated over the nitrocellulose paper that nitrocellulose paper uh, we are going to fix it in the uh, sudden blotting uh, machine okay so vertically we will fix the very base of the filter paper no nitrocellulose paper that should be touched the buffer solution so buffer solution were taken in the petri dish so uh, but in uh, bottom la there is a uh, plate uh, which is loaded with a uh, buffer solution so over the buffer solution we will keep some papers filter papers or a um, uh, papers uh, papers which we will use it in the chemistry labs no so that papers must be kept over the buffer solution okay so over that over the filter papers we will keep the nitrocellulose paper with the dna particles or with the sample what we taken okay and come to the next one so there is a uh case what is that case num ssc so ssc is nothing it's a sudden blotting technique so in that sudden blotting technique uh, we will use dna so in this dna which is soluble one because in sudden blotting technique la we are using sodium uh, saline citrate no that sodium saline citrate which is used to dissolve the dna particles so dna we know that which is in the long uh, linear one so to make a small small fragments we are treating this dna with the ssc okay saline uh, sodium saline citrate which is act as a buffer solution so that kept in the bottom plate okay so the blue color one is nothing it's a ssc saline solution okay so in that Uh, nitrocellulose paper so this is the nitrocellulose paper so over the solution buffer solution we will keep a sponge so over the sponge we will uh, keep the uh, uh, wooden block over the wooden block we were added a uh, dna samples in a marked areas that's why the marks were given in that so over the wooden block we will keep a nitrocellulose paper okay so in that nitrocellulose paper only Uh, the dna particles get settled and over the nitrocellulose paper we will keep a tissue papers okay so for it avoid the uh, migration of dna particles from the nitrocellulose to paper okay. then next one is so by this uh, sudden blotting techniques what we will get now we will get a single stranded dna molecules because double stranded now we won't get any hybrids so if we are getting single stranded dna na we easily we can create a another strand by using the complementary nucleotide sequence okay so likewise we will get a hybrid dna and that hybrid dna can be uh, identified by auto radiography technique okay so auto radiography technique is nothing along with the dna molecules we will add a marker that marker which is the uh, emission one okay that can be uh, used as a marker that marker when it is treated with the uv rays that emits some light so by capturing the light we can identify where the dna particles are there whether it is a single stranded or double stranded so these kind of information we will get it from the sudden blotting 
so sudden blotting simply it is used for the isolation of single stranded dna molecules then this uh, this is the uh, things what they are following in the sudden blotting techniques first they will keep a sponge so over the sponge they will keep a wooden block over the wooden block gel gel is nothing nitrocellulose paper so over the nitrocellulose paper they will keep a paper towels tissue papers so for uh, keeping all the things uh, in a uh, attached manner they will keep weight so here they are using book for uh, book as a weight okay and come to the next 